I'm here today to talk to you about plastics in woodland creation. You may have noticed when out and about plastic tree shelters on trees, but what are they actually for? The reason people use them is to protect young trees from being eaten by browsing animals such as deer and rabbits, to help protect them from damage, bad weather, being trampled, mowed or sprayed, and even more recently, they have an aesthetic position of highlighting to everyone that the tree planting has been done in that area. These guards can do a good job of protecting young trees to help them establish and grow, but the issue now comes from the material that we use to make them. Here at the Forestry Commission, we are making positive changes and working collaboratively together with other organisations and landowners to try moving in the direction of more sustainable tree protection. Forestry England are trialling alternative material tree protection at various different trial sites. Working at a site-by-site -site basis is key as every planting area has different needs. So fencing, sustainable deer management and natural bramble and vegetation cover are all encouraged establishment methods. We're also trying to deal with the existing plastic tree guards in our landscape. And we are doing this in various ways, such as working as part of the Forest Plastic Working Group, which is a group formed of multiple organisations and was founded by the Yorkshire Dales Millennial Trust to bring people together across the United Kingdom, focusing on the reduction of single use and temporary use plastics in tree and woodland establishment. We have also supported the Forest Plastics Working Group, creating various different tree tube recycling hubs in different parts of England in partnership with other organisations, where woodland owners and tree planters alike can bring their tree guards to be recycled. Our forestry experts within the Forestry Commission can also provide advice to landowners regarding tree protection and can connect people together to help aid the removal of existing tree guards.